everybody, this is Praxis, and I'm here on site today doing some odds and ends sorts of things. There's some stuff going on outside, I'm going to mention that in a little bit. But first I wanted to mention just the idea of, well, it's raining outside. I would love to be working on the shed today. Got all the lumber all stacked yesterday, ready to go, but now it's raining. Uh, and yeah, I could kind of work on the shed in the rain, but it's just messier to take out the table saw. Everything's going to be getting mud on it. I'm mean, having to clean things off. It would take longer to do the same kind of work than, you know, on a nice day. So I'm trying to do things that aren't going to be slowed down by the rain. And one of those things is working on all this putty work. Uh, you know, if I had I done this stuff days ago, this putty work would not have been available to me. Uh, so, you know, while several days ago when I started the project, I would have loved to have finished it all up, you know, just kind of get one thing done at a time. I kept some of this available because I knew it would be a good fallback thing to do if it ever was rainy outside and I couldn't work. So it's always good when you're doing a large project to kind of keep these sorts of things available to you. So if you get into a situation where you can't work outside or whatever, you have something to kind of fall back on. It's very similar to what I used to do with uh, filmmaking. That's what is my regular job, you know, making movies, music videos, things like that. Uh, and whenever we had outdoor locations, we'd always kind of have an indoor location kind of in the back of our mind that if, you know, it started raining that day, you could kind of do a fallback and have like the same actors, you know, doing their interior stuff, whatever. Uh, it's just good to have multiple things possible so that you can kind of adapt to, you know, whatever the circumstances. Today, the complete emergency SHTF situation is, is drizzling out. So want to be able to modify uh, that. Got some good news about the uh, landscape people. If you look behind you outside, there uh, is a kind of a row of sticks out here. Uh, I'm starting to scribe out what we want to have kind of be the elevated terrace area for what's going to be the yard and the garden. Uh, they're supposed to be showing up in about four days. They're supposed to be here like a week and a half ago or something like that. But I finally heard back from them. They said in four days they're going to be here. And right now I'm kind of trying to uh, coordinate between they're doing their work and getting the exterior boards for the house delivered, uh, which those were actually supposed to be here, I don't know, like today or yesterday, and they're not here. Um, but it's always difficult when like you're hearing from people and you're not sure exactly when they're going to do what they say they're going to do. Um, but I'm doing the best that I can because ideally we can get this landscape stuff kind of done and then get the exterior boards for the house delivered on top of that. Because otherwise, if they deliver the boards now and then they're trying to do the landscaping work, we got to kind of work around the board. So I'm kind of hoping that that's the way I'm able to do it. And it's the same kind of thing with the rain and the backup plans. I'm going to be having the landscape people kind of focus on this area first. Uh, but I've got alternate ways of where I could put the boards if the boards come before they're done and everything. And that's just, that's just the nature of it whenever you're dealing with anything that's unpredictable, whether it's the weather or contractors. That's it. Thanks for watching.